Welcome back, everybody. Seeing some new faces on the desk right now. So with that being said, we're very excited to welcome you some uh, new members of the Kansas Today team. Yeah, that's right, Ronald. We have Eddie Randall and we have Julia Thatcher um, with us now. They're joining us for the full show starting Monday morning. Yeah. So let's get to know them a little bit. Julia, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, we're so excited to be here. I'm originally from Phoenix, Arizona. I spent some time in West Texas, so not too far away. And then I uh, recently moved down here from Washington State where I fell in love with morning news and getting to wake people up. So I'm so excited to be here. I went to the Nifty Nut House. I went to a Shockers game. <laughs> so I'm getting immersed in Wichita yeah. already. And then Eddie. Yeah, I am from uh, Wichita Falls, Texas, so not too far from here. I also worked in Greek, Green Country, not too far from here, Tulsa, Oklahoma, for a little bit of mm -hmm. time. But for the last five years, I spent time in Denver covering news and anchoring of the morning show and the noon show. So no stranger to waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I think uh, I'll fit in right here. But I'm yeah. excited just to be a part of this team and get out in the community and, you know, tell some stories. Yeah, all right. And, of course, we've been getting to know each other over the last few days and uh, also kind of behind the scenes as uh, we've got some uh, some different things to show on Kansas today but in this case different is going to be very good so that's something that you're not going to want to miss. Yeah. Of course and a little bit of a preview for that so many people have been working behind the scenes to get that ready for mm -hmm. everybody yeah. uh, so to give people a little bit of a preview we're going to get to dive deeper into those stories give you a deeper look on stories that are important to you and to Kansas as a whole. Yeah, yeah. Staying on um, in with that here for you, you know, I am really excited. This is going to be uh, a, a bit of a different show, a different way of doing things, but we're so excited. I'm happy that this right here yeah. is the team and we're so ready just to get out of the community and just, you know, start to hear what the viewers want to see and be able to bring those stories to you. Yeah, and Hunter uh, still going to be doing a lot of that storytelling outside of the building, getting out and being able to tell a lot of those stories, your stories, mm -hmm. I should say. Yeah, that's right. I'll be back to reporting, doing those local stories, heartfelt stories, fun stories. I know we're excited about that, but we're also going to do those important ones that are really meaningful for this community, and I'm really excited to be there to cover it. And I know you've been working hard to get some of those stories ready to go, and so yep. I'm excited to see where you go, the stories that you tell. But it is Friday, yes. and so we still have to get people out the door with their forecast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right. Make sure that you're all bundled up this morning uh, as we're starting off on a frigid note once again. And it looks like uh, 8 degrees, 8 a.m. Yeah, not the best temperatures in the world, but we do have some improvements on the way. Just got to continue to pack that patience, that Arctic chill going to gradually kind of loosen its grip across the area. And we should be able to see a nice rebound into the 30s, uh, 32 degrees by 4 o'clock. Yeah, not the warmest temperatures in the world, but at least it's a lot better than yesterday. Also seeing maybe a few clouds around early this morning, but then eventually seeing some more sunshine returning pretty soon from now. Should be able to see a, a nice sunrise as well. We got even more uh, warmer temperatures on the way. Looks like we should be able to make a nice rebound into the 50s by tomorrow. Oh, it was nine degrees driving into work today, so that was already a little bit of a an uptick from what we saw yesterday at the same <laughs> Just time. Just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I gotta say thank you to Ronell. You know, I am able to you know transition very easily from Denver with these eight <laughs> degrees. I'm like, okay, I think I can get used to this. All right, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you. I'll take that. I, you know what? I'm excited for Monday. I think it's going to be a really fresh start, and I'm excited to see where yeah. we go. Me too. Yeah. Be prepared. Stay with us. The Today Show is up next. Now go make today great.